I love it. I think that's brilliant. I think it's a great part of the community. Are we can see what we can see. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if we don't get blown away. I know. So today we left Nice and we travelled down to Avignon. So we're staying at a campsite opposite the famous walled city. So on the way we stopped at the supermarket to get some fresh supplies. Went to Lidl. It was kind of alright, but the selection yeah. wasn't great. Cal wasn't that impressed. But she did have fun trying to get out to pastry. Let's call in an adult to get the machine to work. Yeah, mate. You would be an adult, they have to pull. Mate, it's like a fairground ride to get these out, look. <laughs> and out the back. Why can't I do it? Brilliant. I've got two. Now we've arrived at the campsite, just making some tea. We're having fully burnt steak, so uh, that will offend, I'm sure, lots of people. But it's how we like it. And then we're going to plan for our day tomorrow. We're going to have to check out the, the campsite and see what we can go and see in Avignon tomorrow. Showers here were excellent, as if being showered down by Poseidon's hose piece itself. There's a motorhome parked down from us, made by a company called Morello. And it looks swanky. So I Google machine there and opened up Auto Trader in the UK. The cheapest one I could find second hand was 360,000 pounds. And this thing is new. So I reckon it's probably upwards of half a million. And it's absolutely beautiful. We've got our uh, um, self-built camper parked next to something that's worth way more than our house. I love it, I think that's brilliant. I think it's a great part of the community. You know, the guy went down and had a shower, same time as me, not the same shower. Um, you know, wanted to, but uh, you know, got boundaries. But yeah, I, I, I love all of that, it's brilliant. Then he's learnt to do up our shoelaces. Good job, Leo. Very clever. Today, we're heading into Avignon. Now, from our campsite, which is on like a little island overlooking Avignon, we can get a boat. We're gonna go and see if we can get on that. <gasps> very, very windy. There isn't one to 11, so we'll try and get that back. We're going to walk over instead. Yeah, weirdly. So, three days ago, it was at 10. But now they've moved it to 11 right. each day. Which seems weird, because surely this is peak time, but who knows. Just have to walk over. Yeah. The walking actually was okay. Yeah, Probably it was took fine. about 15 minutes. Yeah, it's fine. We're not to the dead centre, though. We'll get the boat back later. We've wandered in, and this isn't even the bit that people come and look at. No, it's like little shops, there's hotels in here. Uh, and you've got just... the walls and the ramparts as well of this part of the town. Yeah. That you can see. People out enjoying their coffee in the morning. We're all gonna wander on in and see if we can see the actual bits that people come and see in Avenue. Oh, Where? There. Oh yeah. Okay, on the floor then. Thank you. Back on the beach. you keep that? Yeah. It's a lucky feather. The first thing we're seeking out is the Palace of the Popes, which was built in the 14th century as like a refuge, I guess you'd describe it as, for the Pope for the seven years that they were here when they had to leave Rome. I've heard mixed reviews though of whether it's worth going in or not, because there's not much inside of it, but we're going to go check it out because even the outside is supposed to be pretty impressive. You get to walk through the market squares and things like that. It's strange because you've got like all of these like old buildings, but then they've got all the modern shops in them. It's like a city vibe, but then it's in an ancient city. I quite like it. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah. Check that out in a minute. It's so windy here today. Like crazy windy. But it's nice because it's like 29 degrees, but it doesn't feel like it. Ah! Why you just step on? A really crunchy leaf. Essentially, we want to go to the market, so we've got something for snacks. Because the fresh fruit in France is mega. The pastries are mega. And we're trying to up what we found in Menton with that 
What was it? Like a sourdough? Um, like bacon and cheese. Oh, it's so it good. Like, it was like bread. I don't know. What. And we got one of them and it fed both of us. And it was like three euros fifty or something ridiculous. It was a bargain. So that's what we're trying to beat. There it is, the living wall. That's how you know you found it. Yeah. Oh god, this place is amazing. Oh my goodness, the food in here. Fish All well. this fish. Oh, it's tremendous. I wasn't hungry before I came in here, and now I'm all of a sudden very hungry. That is the danger. Get the tomatoes, get the tomatoes. The market was really cool. We just ended up with some fruit, didn't we, that we're going to eat in a minute we find a nice little spot. We didn't get any pastries today yet because we think we're going to try and find somewhere nice to eat in a bit. A cool place to visit and now we're going to go off to see where the Popes used to hang out. Straight in his Pope hat. Yeah. Cat Noir. Fancy car. Black cat. Oh, wow. I suggest you take Lily in there but it's actually a tattoo parlour. It's a cool one though. Corner and there's like something just extremely beautiful. That is so strange, isn't it? And millions of uh, tall tourists yeah, having a look. Get out of the way, tour guides. But not <laughs> everywhere. Like then you leave the group, so they seem to be going on their own little tour. Whereas we're just wandering around quite aimlessly. No, if I was in my map. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. Nice. Yeah, we're just doing whatever. Yeah. And then so you end up on your own, which is nice. stopped for our fruits before we go into the palace. Because Lil's thirsty. It's warm today, but it's real windy as well, so it's deceptive. It's just really windy, so hopefully you can hear us loud and clear. <laughs> so the gold statue at the top is, is the Virgin Mary. And it's massive. You can see it from basically all over the town, can't you, the city? Yeah. And it really towers above the market square down below. The scale of this palace of the Pope is tremendous. It's huge. Absolutely massive. See the wind. Oh, it's so windy here today. It's trying to blow me away. Don't there's get blown away. That there's loads of like grass bits flying everywhere. Anyway, should we go see what we can see? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if we don't get blown away. I know. The next to the Pope's Palace is Notre Dame Cathedral. We've just been in there, we didn't film too much. Little exhibition outside that shows the popes that live here. And there are only nine of them. Yeah. All of this was built for nine popes. Imagine that. Imagine that. The crazy stuff is when you go in the church you can just see how much money they must have had all of these out of gold and that's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, um, well a lot of it's been stripped, doesn't it? Yeah. It's not in there, but obviously it will probably have been even more like luxurious or whatever the word is. Yeah. Fancy. Very fancy. Fancy schmancy. <laughs> We've decided to go in to the Pope's Palace. Uh, we're just picking up a pisto pad. If you saw our earlier video in Ambois, these are cool little pads. Oh, I mean, good for just everyone, but Lily loves it the best. And you can point at other things and it shows you facts and what things would have been like. So this is where the Pope and his cronies would make their decisions. Cronies? Kel just said. No, I didn't say cronies. What did you say? Cardinals, which yeah. is the correct word. This is what I look like when I wake up in the morning. I wake up. On. It's not. <laughs> we wound our way through the Pope's Palace. It was all right. Yeah. It's quite hot in there. Boiling up. We thought it was going to be cooler. And there's nothing really in it to see, but the histo pad shows you stuff. It's all right. But we're out in the garden now, and this is definitely worth it. Wow. Fountain, beautiful. I don't know if you could just visit here, could you? Could you cut straight through to the garden? Don't think so. We're just sitting down and having some snacks and just cooling off. But yeah, you walk through and when you emerge out, you can see the gardens and then we're sat just down on some benches with the view of it all. Oh, that's really nice. This was extra though, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. You could either just, just do the palace or pass in the garden or like the pass in the bridge or all three things together. So we've got the palace, the garden and the bridge. We're good to go. I think, is there more of a palace to see maybe? I'm not sure. 
I don't know, I have to go have a look. Mm. Nice out here though. Yeah. I think my history card shows different floors. Right. Good to know, good to know. Good old histo pad. This was a nice little place to stop this. So that's a top tip if you come into the palace. Go to the garden and bring a picnic. Another monument, another spiral staircase. Pies of steel. There is way more to see after you leave the garden. You gotta walk through the post bed chamber, loads of other dudes, bed chambers, a lot of them you can't film it for obvious reasons. There's still a lot to see and we're trying to make our way up now. We think we can get out onto the roof. When you do get to the top of the shop, the view's amazing. And we can see right across the river and the bridge that we're going to go visit later. And then at the top, there's like a little room with a vending machine in there. It's great, it's so strange. It's very weird. I don't know what usually happens in here. It's a bit odd. So we've come out of the Pope's Palace, and we're winding our way through the old town, yeah. down towards the famous bridge. And we also got some dried lavender. And we've also bought some dried lavender on the way, which Lily's been hankering for for days. So, found a bargain. And now we've got some. About to go on the bridge. I must admit, from the other side, from our campsite, I just assumed that you could walk on it. Quite foolishly, I would have said. Because we had got the tickets in the Pope's Palace, this has already allowed us to come in here. We just scanned our tickets, skip the line. It's ideal. It works windy out here. Apparently, there's a very famous dance that was performed on this bridge. Although, when you read into it, there's very, very different versions of that story. Um, but there's four pillars remaining on the bridge, and there have originally been 22 that span basically both arms of the river. So, I mean, it's impressive as it is, but it would have been like tremendous back in its day. Sit down in one of the little archy bits on the river. Very nice. You can see right under the arch. I think that's exactly what it was like. <laughs> On top of the bridge, it's super windy, so sorry if you can't hear us. It's stunning. Yeah, it is. Really, really stunning. Inside the bridge, there's like little, I don't know how you describe Chapel? them. Chapel? They're like little shrines? I don't know. Yeah, where things can happen inside of them. And there's a couple oh, remaining. And then at the end, it attaches to the citadel itself. And I think it would have had a drawbridge. And it would have like, so expanded over that island and gone over the other river on the other side where our campsite is. Fair play. History is one thing, and the engineering is just tremendous. And that's what I appreciate, I think. Such a cool place. Such a cool place. Kids clothes. What have we got? What are we getting now? Yes. Cute. You may see them in on her soon. Yes. Good find. I'm gonna go to the man then. Happy? Ta da! Wandering back to try and find a nice place to have a cup of coffee. And apple juice. And apple juice. We hung out at the cafe. Took in the local squares, had a drink. When I found some pastries, which look delicious. Yeah, what have you found? Ooh, I got one for now. Kelly insisted. And then Kelly hurt her foot. So we went and got some stuff from that from the chemist. And then we had a couple of other mishaps. So it didn't record much on the way back, but we did manage to get the boat back over, which was free and cool. And now I'm at the campsite. Just going to do a couple of chores. So the next morning, we're just draining down before we leave the campsite. Campsite was really cool. Did our washing here last night. It's got a really nice swimming pool, kids club, all that stuff if you like that. We're heading now to Bone. We'll see you there soon.
watch video up here or some of our previous ones. Thanks very much for watching this one. One, two, three. Bye. Bye.